can you believe it? You guys, it's show 102. I think that's just worth it. And it's, uh, if you're joining us, we're always in search of awesome. We just have some wonderful hairdressers that are absolutely crushing it behind the chair. Tonight is no different. Very special guest, the beautiful uh, Miss Peyton Gibson from Posh Salon and Spa Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, Summit and Coach Pot Salon owner, Mike Carter, who is watching tonight. Um, best of the best. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy uh, what she brings to the table. Let me tell you a little bit about her so that uh, you get, I can warm the waters for her and that you know why what she's going to be sharing with you should matter. I think she's got a great track record. She started first uh, on the floor on 2016 and last year, you know, at 30000 on a W-2, and she doubles it on uh, in 17, so like a $30,000 raise with her Instagram amazing uh, best practices along with some other stuff. She's trending to do $75,000 as, as we speak, so she's uh, not bad for a level three, and she's trending. She'll probably hit four uh, on the, you know, the either Q2 uh, or Q3 this year. 25 years old, Redkin uh, Blonde Authority certified. Average ticket, look at that average ticket, you guys, $110. Her haircut price is 51 so she's well over 2.0. So, you know, she is like a Bali Lama on steroids. Um, referrals, 120 last year. I mean, you do, the, you do the count on that. That's about an average of 10 a month. Rebooking at 60%. RTS is in uh, double digit as well. So... What else can I tell you about? I don't want to get into her story too much, but she's been on just an extraordinary ride. She graduates high school in 11, uh, does a couple of years of community college, pivots, and I'll let her tell the specifics on that in 14. She moves to Lexington and, and goes to hair school. 15 graduates, starts with Posh, definable moment with Mike, who is one of her mentors. Uh, 16 uh, in April, level one. She jumps to two in September of level uh, uh, in September, level two of 2016, July, level three, and she begins to work with an associate. That's like big boom boom, man. So she's already an educator, and um, and she uh, becomes a the posh social media director, which t tells you that she's really in that game. Uh, and she is when you really look at what she's carrying, iPhone seven plus. If you check her out on uh, Instagram. Uh, here by Peyton Gibson. Uh, she's running at, it looks like, about 1,183 followers. Uh, about 120 of her guests are following her. She does 20 guests a week, 20 photo shoots a week. So she's really, each guest now, she's making the, the photo session a very, very big part of the chair side manner, the, the uh, guest experience. She takes about eight pics a shoot, five poses, does a lot of slow-mo vids, images transferred to guests by text, within a day because uh, her, many of her guests are um, reposting and then she'll repost 100% of her guest posts. Uh, and uh, for her guests that say, look, my makeup doesn't look right, she's got an extraordinary app, Facetune, that uh, does some amazing work for her. So we'll, I'm going to bring her in and she's going to tell us a little bit about her story. We'll get into some best practices. So uh, let me go and see if I can find her now. Um, and, uh, you know, keep your fingers crossed that the, uh, the, uh, IT gods are working for us tonight. Let's just see. And there she is. Give it up for her, will you guys? <laughs> Good evening, my friend. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh, wonderful. Did you, did you hear me bragging on you when you were in the uh, green room? Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of people on tonight, uh, watching you and supporting you, so, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to uh, engaging in the conversation. Get us started because you and I had a chance to go through your story, and there's, there's like three parts to you know the what it's like and what happened and what it's like for you now. Give us that first chapter. Of, you know, like how did you get to the whole hair school thing? Well, uh, when I graduated high school, I mean, I did my first haircut when I was, I guess, I was nine years old. Um, cause, and I was rolling perms when I was six, so I knew that's what I wanted to do, but obviously in a small town, uh, my mom and everybody in my life was like, don't do it. They didn't say this to me, but it made it, me feel like it was the loser job. Mm. Like, if you're not, girls who aren't smart go to beauty school, 
um, again, not what they said, but how I felt. Uh, so I was going to go to nursing school, and I feel like that's often a trade-off between beauty school and nursing school. Um, but so I did community college for a couple of years, um, and then I met my boyfriend, James, and I moved to Lexington and decided that I was going to go to hair school there, or uh, beauty school, no, not beauty school, hair school, same thing, um, nursing school. And then I was curling my hair one day. Long story short, he was like, I told him that I'd done the hair all my life pretty much. And he was like, well, why are you going to nursing school if you want to be a hairstylist? That's stupid. <laughs> he sat up in the bed and he hadn't met my parents yet. He like, put his hands on his hips and he was like, okay, I don't get it. Like, you're going to beauty school. I was like, okay, well, you tell my parents. And he was like, I will as soon as I meet them. <laughs> so that's kind of how it happened. He was, he's been my biggest cheerleader, really. We're, um, four years later, here we are. And here I am. Nice. Not beautiful. By the way, just as a sidebar, my granddaughter's watching and she says, I love her makeup. Chloe loves your makeup. So uh, that's your first compliment. <laughs> so all of a sudden now you're, you, you go from, uh, you go from there to, uh, um, uh, hair school. And, uh, then what happened now, now you're in, you're, you're, you know, you're in that game and to make the choice to follow your dream. So there were some definable moments that happened there for you that just were like pivotal people that you met. Tell us about that piece. Um, I think um, first encourager, obviously, I said my boyfriend. And then when I went to beauty school, um, Lauren Copley, she is um, at Paul Mitchell. The terms is um, she was my learning leader. And she encouraged me and she was like, Peyton, you're going to be amazing. You're going to make you're going to make money. You're going to be happy. And I was like, don't fill my head full of stuff that isn't true because my whole life I've been told one thing and mm -hmm. now I'm in hair school and she's telling me something different. So um, Lauren still, um, she still encourages me to, um, and tells me she's proud of me and I check in, I talk to her here and there. And then um, her mostly and then Mike, um, when Mike come, Mike's amazing, let's just say that. He is absolutely amazing. But he came into Paul Mitchell and I knew that if I wanted to prove everybody wrong, that I would have to go somewhere where I could be led in the right direction and have something to follow. So obviously the summit, uh, the summit community is amazing and it really works. Like what you see on paper is real. And well, Mike explained. Well, I, and we want to make sure that the, the world knows Mike. Mike Carter, by the way, is, uh, you know, a very much, the, you know, the, a key leader in, Posh and and he was instrumental. He came, I believe, came into your school and you guys started talking and and that was you know between between your friend and 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 uh, your boyfriend. Those three people kind of like it sounds like awakened you, gave you the inspiration to have a very strong on ramp at Posh. Yeah, they um, and Posh is like a big family and. Uh, like my associate just graduated and I needed help all day. So all the associates chipped in to help me. So like there's a big support system overall here, especially with Mike. I mean, he was telling me when I was a level one that my average ticket was like $75 and I didn't know what I didn't know. And I was like, is that good? And he was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're coloring anything that moves. And then you 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 also said something as he's, he showed you those charts in school, and you, I got you quoted here saying, I can have a career I love and fill the refrigerator. I mean, that was kind of like your metaphor for I, I really want to really live a life of abundance. I want to move from the life I've had into just an extraordinary life, and I think that's, that kind of got you in there. Yeah. Um, after he showed us, like, the breakdown and how it worked, I thought, well, I can't. At Posh, I can fill my refrigerator, and um, I was hesitant because it's a big salon. I'm a small town girl, but it was a good decision um, in my favor. Um, right. so well, th then, then it was that you know from there it it you're you're now working, and now you're what is it? You're you're it, it, well into your second year now, your second full year, and I think mm -hmm. you know what people are wondering is like, how, how, what's your life like now? I mean, I gave the audience your stats. You're you're in a place. Peyton, that's almost opposite of the place that you were in. And I'm sure the world's dying, you know, so like, how's that different for you now? How has your life changed for the better? Yeah, well, when I was a little girl, I was poor, for lack of better words, and lived, you know, we lived paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, it was always a struggle, and I had to grow up faster than I wanted to. So, mm -hmm. like, 
a lot of the things that I felt like I missed out on, like I get to be a kid now, like we take spontaneous trips. Um, I've worked on nice bucket list is to go to every NFL stadium. And I think we're on five or six. So it's fun. We just hop in the car and go. And it's not like I spend aimlessly, but I do get to enjoy life in a, in a different and almost a big time relief. It really yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, your, your story is extraordinary because there, there's been a handful of other people like you that, that said that, you know, the life we lived was, was really, a very, it, it was a life of impoverishment. And it's almost like we don't know what we want to be when we grow up, but we're real clear about what we don't want to be. We, we don't want to live our, the next part of our life like the way we lived. And you're now, you're in a place now where you're a dream maker and you're, and you're making the dream come true. So God bless in, in, in what you're doing. Now, I, I just have to ask you this, this next question. You're in a place now where there's many people that will go through a 30-year career and not be at the place you're at in your 20s, and yet there are a number of people that, frankly, are in the place you were at a short time ago, and they're watching, and they're seeing where you're standing, and they're going, tell me something that would give me the hope and raise the probability that I want to be like you when I grow up. What might you say to them tonight that would give them that inspiration? You know, I think that most importantly, you need to surround yourself with like-minded people. And if people don't make you feel good, don't be around them. Um, if they discourage you from doing the things you want to do, then don't be around them. And if nothing changes, nothing changes. If you want something to happen, you have to make it happen. And continue your education. Uh, stay consistent on Instagram. Because I remember when I was a server and I made $8,000 that year. And when I was in beauty school and I watched your videos and now I'm on them. So like, it's not impossible. Like it is there for everybody. It's not just for me or the 101 people before me. Like it's for everybody. If Peyton you want Gibson, I'm going to speak for the world. We just absolutely love your story and, and what you're becoming. So what's next for Peyton? Where, you, where do you go from here? What's the um, future I, hold? I, I think, uh, I want to do my Redken color certification. I'm going to do my Balayage certification this year. Um, hope to be a level four by the end of the year. Uh, we'll see what Mike says. <laughs> but And then I would love to work for Summit and be part of the social media community. I think that would be amazing because I, I love social media and it's helped me grow and I'd like to share my knowledge and the things that happen to me to other people to help them grow. Well, that was a wonderful introduction and on-ramp. We've got about, uh, looks like about five minutes left, and I want you to give them a taste. It's almost like you've got two sets of keys. You know, the, 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 the first key, set of key is that your selfie, you, you've got a selfie contest, uh, like three keys. G give us what that is, just so that people can, can see just where you're coming from with social. So uh, I take care of my social media and the salons. So not only my guests, but we encourage all the guests, uh, associates and level ones as well. Um, we have every every month we do a contest. So we have our, anybody who comes and get a service, take a selfie or they can post their hair, a picture with their service provider, check in at our salon and tag their salon service provider. That enters them to uh, possibly win $100 cash each month. So that kind of gives incentive for people to um, do that. And then all my stylists send me the names, and then I do a drawing in like a timely manner. Um, that way the person can come in and claim their prize, and we can start the next month. Yeah, I um, love I was I was holding up your PowerPoint as you were talking because that's so key, what you're doing. That is a wonderful way of getting your guests to post your work on their page because everyone that's following them are, are real candidates for referrals. That's probably why you're just blowing it out of the park with uh, your Most referral. Of the clients their hair. So yeah. It's on the salon page, my page, and my clients, and everyone who looks at that sees that, and they see the salon, and they see mine. So it's just like a trickling effect. And then you have a, another set of keys for your photo shoots. I just absolutely love how you're evolving that experience for both your guests and capturing content. Tell us what your three keys are uh, there as well. So, first of all, I don't even ask my guests. They know it's a part of it because they want to be on my Instagram. So, um, I take my hairspray and like a wide tooth comb 
and I, you know, usually curl everybody, take them to the ring lights. Um, we do several poses, so I know they'll be there for a couple extra minutes. And I'll comb the hair, lay the hairspray can on it to make it shine. You name it, we do it. And then we have a routine with face the wall, you know, the classic Instagram pose where they pull their hair back to the side. It's important what color and what kind of color, I mean, what kind of color and uh, dimension we have to pour than what we really do. I do a lot of slow motion videos to show the dimension. I love and, it. Um, I post the I post their hair in the order that they come. So I may be a week or two behind. So my guest will post a picture the day of, and then a couple weeks I'll post their picture, and then they'll repost it again. Most All of right, time. I want to make sure because that's so key. You're saying that your guest, because they have that content right away, they are they are um, posting it. They're actually first to post, and then when yep. you post, they repost again on their page. So it's almost like you're getting a double hit uh, when yep. they do it again. Yeah, and usually I'll send a different picture to them than I post, so people can see it from a different angle. I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, listen, we're 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 out of time. I want to follow you though, as I am now. You're on our. You're on our master's secret group, and so well. Uh, and of course, I'm. You know, Mike is a great friend. I want to stay close to you, see how your year progresses. Have you back on in the back end of the year to just kind of catch us up to Peyton. Wish you just the the you know the biggest Godspeed of the year, and it, you just deserve to have the life that you're having now. So uh, keep on booming. Thank you so much, Michael. Let's give it up one more time for Mr. Uh -huh. Mr. All right, my friend, I'll, I'll be talking to you soon. All right, thank you, Michael. Have a good one. You too. I think you guys got to give it up for one more time, will you? I, I want to pull my PowerPoint back on, uh, guys, because she what, what she's saying there is nothing short of extraordinary. I mean, I just, I just loved, uh, first of all, the story. I think a big part of the story is she, like many of us, grew up in very, very modest means, you know, with, in, we'll just call it uh, scarcity. And, you know, we, we, you know we, we walk through that part of our life because it is what it is. And then we, we just, you know, at the back end, when we're, we're ready to go out and begin finding our life, we're, we're not clear about what we want to be, but we're really clear about what we don't want to be. We don't want to live the next part of our life like the last part. We love all the people in that part of our life, but we, we want something extraordinary. That was That's Peyton's big why. That's what moves her soul. And then, you know, her significant other affirms her because she she's on her way to nursing school and he's saying, honey, listen, I see you're doing hair. This, you're, this moves your soul. You got to go to hair school. I mean, what that is so cool. She goes to hair school you know, she's got a friend that's encouraging her now. Now she's got two encouragers. Bumps into Mike Carter. I'm getting goosebumps now. Mike shows her the uh, money charts. And she says, you know, she, she her metaphor is, oh, my God, I can have my refrigerator is full. I mean, th I want you to read in between the lines there. And so now she's saying, I'm on the other side of it. My refrigerator's full. And things are going well for me. So, I mean, I'm again, I'm just getting goosebumps. I just absolutely love uh, to, to stand witness to what people, how people change and how they're transformed that are ready, that come with the big why and are ready to really uh, take their life to the next level. So I think you need to get it. <laughs> then she brings us to her keys, you know, uh, on, on her selfie. She encourages all of her guests to post the selfies ASAP upon leaving, making sure they know how to tag the salon. She's actually teaching her guests, here's how you tag me. Here's how you tag the salon. So the, the tags go both on the salon as well as uh, Peyton. And then there's a, there's a chance to win a $100 gift card every month. Second, I'm able to see who tags the salon. Um, and, and, uh, and as I do, uh, I also ask each stylist to give a verbal heads up when they see that a guest of theirs has tagged a selfie as well. So a lot of social media mindfulness in uh, at Posh. And then number three, do the drawing in a timely fashion. Celebrate winner every month uh, with a repost as well. So just extraordinary stuff. And then she, with her photo shoot, she lets 
uh, guests know that you're going to shoot several poses. I think she has six or seven poses. Have your finished product tools along with you. Have a routine session for the guest. Uh, she has them face the wall first, then towards her, the ring light, then over the shoulder shots. She does slow-mo videos that are nothing short of amazing. And then her third key, I post the images in order of the appointments. It could be a week before I post, but the images I share with my guests are usually uh, go up ASAP on their page, and I get the added exposure when the guest reposts the image. I mean, this thing with social media and getting the guests to post on their page continues to evolve, and it is becoming the core critical piece that makes the difference between hairdressers that are getting 120, 150, 200 referrals a year and those that are working their you-know-what's off and not getting anywhere near that. So once again, it was a, an, an extraordinary evening. I think you need to give her a give her <laughs> So uh, we're, we're, we're out of time. I just want to welcome all that they have started uh, just joining us. This is our 102nd episode. You can follow us on uh, Michael Cole Summit on Facebook.com. That's the page you're on tonight. We uh, video that, and we're now syndicating that out to about 50 other pages. If you have a, uh, a secret salon page and you'd like to be on that, if you're a salon owner, Summit salon owner, you're plugged into Summit, and you'd like this to be... Uh, syndicated and direct broadcast into your secret page. Let me know what it is, and I'd be more than happy to uh, add you to the list. I'm on Instagram as well, uh, you know, doing uh, qu quote cards on a daily basis there and uh, using the new story features, which, by the way, is nothing short of, of awesome. Um, we, I, we're proud to announce that Summit now has a social media virtual coaching team that can get to you via uh, Zoom.com, we just finished our first, uh, we're about to finish our first uh, boot camp, uh, social media boot camp. The team is just extraordinary. Uh, they, they can come on site. They do most of their work virtual. Uh, they'll, they're willing to do a complimentary one-hour uh, consultation if you're curious about that. And uh, call uh, Summit's 800 number, 718-5949, uh, and, uh, you know, set up an appointment there. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, if you're new to us, if I'm you, I would be living on salon dot, uh, summitsalon.com. Lots of cool stuff, lots of free stuff. We've got uh, calculators there. Our, our products are there. Uh, if you can get on summitsalon.com uh, slash mclive and, and actually go right to a secret page into uh, YouTube where all of our broadcasts from the newest, from 102 all the way down to when we began. So you can watch them. They've all been edited now so that, the, you know, you, you, it cuts right to the chase. Uh, we're now starting to flip them into micro learnings uh, where you can watch two to three minute versions of them with handouts. So you should be hanging out with us. You should be coming to Summit uh, to really take advantage of that. We even have now a mobile calculator page on our homepage on Summit where we do all of the work for you. So we'll, we'll turn your annual income goal into uh, a, a, an annual hair uh, goal, monthly hair goal, weekly, uh, daily. We sh we're teaching you how to plan. And this is everything that we're doing. We're, we're putting that out because we know that you will use one of our coaches to help implement what we're teaching you online. So it's re we're in a whole new area, gang. We have a tracking app as well so that you can measure what you treasure. I mean, I can go on and on and on. So um, I want to, you know, thank you for what, coming tonight. And, 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 of course, these are our sponsors. We have L'Oreal PPD and all of their extraordinary brands. We have uh, uh, some, uh, Salon Centric Professional Beauty Partners. We have State. We have RDA. These are our sponsors. And, of course, our beloved Summit Salon Business Center. So it's been a great show. Uh, we're gonna, we have a special guest for you next week, uh, Thursday night. We just keep bringing it to you, episode uh, 103. So on behalf of the world, thank you very much.